welcome back to my channel, or if you are new here, then welcome. I would love it if you would consider subscribing. Today I'm going to be going through all of the Chanel products that I own. So I will say straight out of the gate that I don't think I've actually paid for any of these products with my own money. I think maybe with the exception of one or two lip products here and there, but otherwise I have used Shoppers Drug Mart points, or more specifically PC Optimum points. Um, if you're not aware and you are Canadian, Shoppers Drug Mart has a beauty boutique online and you can find a wide variety of brands, both drugstore level and higher end slash luxury that you won't necessarily find in stores. For example, Chanel. So I have put my points to very good use over the past, I'd say year and a half maybe in terms of gathering and building this little Chanel collection that I have here. So I wanted to share them with you and do some swatches so that if you're interested in any Chanel products that I happen to own, you can hear my thoughts on them and at least take a look at how they swatch on me. So let's just dive into it. I was going to try to rank them. I don't know how successful I'm going to be at that, to be honest, because there's a lot that I just really like them all and I don't know how to really differentiate which ones I like more than others but I will say there is a clear winner and a clear loser for me. One that I just, mm, even though I used points, I still kind of regret picking it up because I just don't get any use out of this product. So why don't we start with that one and we will end on a high note and just sort of build our way up there. So the product that I just do not get along with is this one here, and this is the Rouge Allure Liquid Powder and the shade that I have is 954. So it's basically like one of those blotted liquid lip kind of deals. And it comes in a little squeezy tube and then it has like that like fuzzy tip, like the, um, was it Too Faced had those before? Like the melted liquid lipsticks? Yes. So I will swatch it for you and I will show you. It's a really pretty color. It really truly is. I just don't like the consistency of it. So there it is, obviously applied to my hand. Again, you can see it's a beautiful color, but my issue with it is that it feels greasy and it's not very long wearing. And it just, I can't get past that like almost silicone-y slip kind of feel that it gives me on my lips. And I just, I just don't like it. It also tends to pill up a little bit and you can see, I just kind of mushed it around with my finger, but you can see where the product starts to ball up a little bit and it does that the longer you have it on your lips and your lips are moving around and all that and I just it's just a finicky product and I really am not a fan of this one in particular. The next one on the lower end of things for me in terms of products that I enjoy is the gloss that I have and this is called the Rouge Coco Gloss and I have shade 824. Now I know a lot of other people love the glosses and I think I might if it wasn't in such a bright and bold color. The problem that I find with this one is just that it travels on me and it sort of hangs out in the corner of my mouth and I believe that my son has been into this because there is all sorts of hair and I'm squarely gonna throw the toddler under the bus on that one because he comes in here and he grabs whatever his little heart desires. All right, okay, taking care of that. There may be more in there, but uh, we'll discover them another day. All right, so I will apply it to the back of my hand here. I will say I really like the opacity of the color. You're definitely getting full impact with these glosses but it does tend to gather in the corners of my mouth and it does feather a little bit on me, not a huge amount, but enough that with a color this bright and bold, it is very noticeable. So the overall consistency of the gloss and the longevity of it, I can really get behind. I just think that I would want a more neutral shade, something a little bit closer to my skin tone so that when it does start to move around a little bit, it's not as obvious as with a bright red. I'm going to step away from lip products for a moment, although there are several others still to talk about. I'm going to shift focus over to the eyeshadow. So I am wearing this quad on my eyes today. This is the Multi-Effect Quadra Eyeshadow in 352 Elemental. 
and it is a very neutral looking palette here. So I don't really have a complaint in terms of how the powders apply or how they blend out. I really could have done without like the little foam applicators here, but that's neither here nor there. The complaint that I have, it's entirely my own fault. It's just the shade selection that's in here. I'm the one who picked it out. I'm the one who added it to my cart and I'm the one who said like, yeah, submit order. So I have nobody to blame but myself. Um, I just, I thought there was going to be a little bit more of a distinction between the shades and I find that once they're applied and blended out, they all kind of look the same. I will say that this like pinkish kind of shade down here does stand out on its own. I just wish that this was a little bit deeper so that I could get a little bit more definition on the lids. But in terms of the actual powder quality, spot on. I really have no complaints about that. I just, I'd like to try them in a more varied quad. Again, entirely my own fault, but there we have it. <laughs> okay, now the next like five products, one, two, three, four, five, yes, is where it's like, they're all the same. I, I can't rank them. I can't tell you which one I like more than the other. So I'm just going to grab and go in absolutely no particular order. So let's start with some nail polishes. So I do have two of their nail polishes. This one is in the shade Daydream, and this one is part of their upcoming fall collection, and this is Rouge Noir. Now it would have been incredibly intelligent for me to have applied those to my fingers, but I did not. However, if I can find it, where is it? What I did was I painted them on a piece of paper. Uh, so, there's Daydream and there is, what is it, Rouge Noir underneath. Doesn't give you a perfect idea of what they're gonna look like, but it's better than nothing. So I will say I have tried a fair number of luxury nail polishes in the past and I've been sorely disappointed by them. They just, they don't do what I expect they're going to do given their price point. I expect that they're going to have better longevity, that they're going to apply very nicely and I'm not going to have to build up the layers, all of that kind of thing. And they have all disappointed me with the exception of these Chanel polishes. I just, I really like the opacity of the color. I will say like it's not, I'm not going to make the claim that these are going to last just seven, 10 days without chipping because they won't at least if you're as rough on your fingernails as I am, I have never come across a nail polish aside from like actual gel nail polish that has any sort of longevity for me. I'm just a heathen and I'm constantly chipping my nail polish. Uh, but they last longer than say my Marc Jacobs nail polish that I have or my Gucci nail polish, which will chip within the very first day, like not even the first 24 hours, but like within the first like eight hours. Uh, so this one, like, I really like the formula of this nail polish. I'll give you an idea of what the brush looks like. It's just a very standard brush, not too big, not too thin. Some of them are just way too, like, wide, and those drive me crazy because my nail beds aren't big enough to really support that aggressive of a brush. I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, but I really like the nail polishes. So, and they have a very good selection to choose from, but so far I've only got two. And they're both shades that I really, really like. I'm going to wear the heck out of this one come sweater weather time. Um, but I also just really like this dusty pink as well. So big fan of the nail polish. Let's dive back into lip products for a second because I do have two bullet lipsticks in different formulas that, again, I can't rank one above the other. So I'm just going to grab this one first. And this is the Rouge Coco in shade 446 Etienne. And this is what it looks like. Now I will say I thought it was going to be a little bit more opaque than how it actually applies. But honestly, I'm not mad at it. I do like this trend towards more sheer kind of lips. And it certainly still shows up colorfully on my mouth, so I can't really get too upset about it. I just, I thought that it was going to be more opaque, but honestly, I kind of like that because it just makes it that much easier to wear. The other one that I have is the Rouge Coco Flash in number 60, which is called Beat. And this one looks a little bit more 
like a lip balm kind of deal, except that it does have, again, a good amount of pigmentation to it. So there it is on that swatch there. So the finish of the two of them look very, very similar, which I think is why I was confused about that first one, because it is a different type of lipstick. But again, not mad at either one of them. They're both very comfortable on the lips, very hydrating, not super long wearing, but I don't expect bullet lipsticks to be. Uh, and I just, again, you can't really get away from how beautiful and classic the packaging is either. The uh, second one that I just swatched, you can see the color through the lid, which I also really appreciate. So if I had multiple shades of this, while I have them standing in my organizer, I can just see very easily through the top. This one I do not, it's all opaque, but the, there's a very easy workaround to just lift the lid and look, it's not that hard. So then let's move on to blush. Now I have to give huge credit to Michelle Wong for not only putting me onto these blushes, but also the liquid lipsticks that we're gonna talk about in just a moment. So these are the powder blushes. I have the shade Reflex and the shade Rouge Profonde, and I will do some swatches for you. So this one is Reflex. Here's how they look. They're like baked blushes, and they come with a little brush, a little mirror on the inside. They are very heavily fragranced, like Rose. I don't mind that, but I mention it because some people are very sensitive to scents. Oh, but it, I love it. I think it's very beautiful. They are very smooth. You can tell that it's a baked formula, like you can just feel that, but it's a beautiful blush. This one has like just a nice little bit of a golden sheen to it. Okay, I'm gonna swatch this on the inside of my wrist because despite the amount of sunscreen I wear, I attract the sun like nobody's business and I tan very easily. And with the amount of running and hiking and whatnot that I've done this summer, I'm like four shades darker than I normally am, and this one has a harder time showing up on the back of my hand. So there it is here. And again, you can see it's not glittery at all, but there is a sheen to it. It's a very gentle sheen, but a sheen nonetheless. But I think it's just so beautiful. It's like this soft peachy kind of color with just a little bit of a gold reflect to it. And I just think it's so lovely. It's just such a pretty blush and so easy to pair with basically any eye look. The other one that I have looks straight up intimidating in the pan. And that's because it is a very bold color, but this one a little bit goes a long way. It's the blush that I'm wearing on my cheeks right now. And you just, you go easy and then you build up from there and it's not a problem but this is one that I think would show up on deeper skin tones than what I have because it is so pigmented, obviously. There it is there. This one I find is far more matte than the other one, but not flat, if that makes sense. I just, I'm a huge fan of these blushes. I would like to get a couple more, but I gotta build up my points first. The next product is one that I have talked about quite a few times on my channel. This is the Soleil Tan de Chanel. It is their cream bronzer. This one, again, it is very fragranced, but oh my gosh, I love the smell of it. I, I can't put my finger on it. It's got like a floral note to it without being rose, but it just, there's like a nostalgia to it. It reminds me of something from my childhood, but I can't put my finger on it. Maybe like one of my mother's skin creams or something. I'm not sure. At any rate, there's what it looks like. Now I have mentioned this one, like I said, several times. And what I will say about this is that I wish it came in different shade options because it doesn't show up all that well on me with my current tan situation going on. Um, so if you have a deeper skin tone or like a medium skin tone even, I don't know that you're really gonna get any noticeable difference by applying it. There it is there. When I am my regular color, like dead of winter, this is gorgeous on me. I do have it on my face today. It is far more subtle on me at this time of year than it is in the winter, but it blends out beautifully. It's not too orange. There's no ashiness to it at all. It is a warmer toned bronzer, as you can see, but it does look very natural on the skin and it blends beautifully. Sometimes cream products, I find like wherever you place it down, it's like super pigmented and then you try to blend it out but you can still see where you first applied it. 
that's not the case with this. It blends out nicely. It wears well all day. It doesn't get like cakey or anything like that. It is a beautiful product, but I really wish that they would add some other shade options to it. All right, so for the final product, this is my favorite of all of my Chanel products. And in fact, this is my favorite liquid lipstick of all the brands of liquid lipstick that I have. And it's these guys right here. These are the uh, Le Rouge Duo Ultra Tenue Liquid Lipsticks. It's what I'm wearing. I'm wearing this one on my lips today. Oh my gosh, they're so good. So they're dual ended and you first apply the liquid lipstick portion of it. It's just like a little doe foot. You let that dry for 30 seconds to a minute. It will feel very sticky and you're going to question your choices and you're going to be like, Kara, what the hell? What, why would you tell me to buy this? Um, give it a second because then you flip it over and there is a clear gloss and a little brush applicator and you just swipe that on top. It takes all of the stickiness away. It adds a really pretty gloss effect, obviously, because it's a gloss. And these things, like, they're not going anywhere. They're not budging. And what's also, like, super nice, even with the gloss, like, the gloss portion can wipe off, but the liquid, like, the lipstick itself, no. Nope. And so the really nice thing, like, aside from just the comfort of this product, is that it's, like, it's transfer proof. Th that's blush. Don't, that's not lipstick. That's just blush. Uh, so I love that because... You don't have to worry about it like rubbing off if you're like putting on a sweater or something or once the weather gets cooler you have like a scarf on you're wearing your mask it's not going to jack up the inside of your mask at all i just i love i love these products they wear away really evenly they last so long i just love them they're very comfortable on the mouth they don't pill up they don't crack they don't settle in and give you like those like butthole lip looks uh, you know what I'm talking about. Like I just, mm, they don't do anything that you don't want your lipstick to do. Suffice it to say, I cannot recommend these enough. They are just so good. In a recent video collaboration that I did with Teresa is Dead, we were sharing our favorite luxury items and I swatched all of my Chanel liquid lipsticks during that video. I have since added two more to my collection. Yay points. Um, but I figure there's value in re-swatching them here for you just so that you can see them all without having to go over to another video and try to find the timestamp and all that jazz. So I'm going to swatch them on my arm and then I'll pop right back in to show you what those shades are. So I'll be right back. All right, so there we have them. I'll start on this side, work my way over here. This one is in the shade Light Rose. And I will say I don't find this one to be super flattering on me. There's just something with the undertone that doesn't really work all that well on my skin tone. So how I salvage it is I mix it with one of these guys. So this is Refine from Ofra. This is part of the Genla's Review collab that they did. A couple drops of this sort of blot it out and mix it in and it switches up the undertone, makes it far more flattering on me. Again, I did a whole review on these products and game changer. Moving on, the next one beside it is Intense Coral, and then we have Sweet Berry. The next one is Soft Candy, that little baby pink one there. I thought it might be a little bit more intense because it looks like it's going to be in the tube, but it really does apply rather gently, if, if I can say that. You can build it up a bit, but it's not going to be as opaque as it looks in the tube. So I just wanted to bring that to your attention. The one beside it right here is uh, Milky Blueberry. This neutral shade here is Intense Caramel, and that is one that I just absolutely adore, along with the one beside it called Bright Raspberry. And then over here, the one that I have on my lips today is Ever Red. So. That's it. That is my Chanel collection as it stands. I've never tried any of their complexion products or any of their like eyeliners or mascaras. If you have and you've had a good experience with any of those kind of products, please let me know in the comments down below which products you would recommend. 
If there are any eyeshadow quads that you've really enjoyed, let me know what shades those ones are in because I would like to try more from their line because I've been so consistently impressed with the exception of that one product. Um, I've really been impressed with everything that I've tried from Chanel, so I'm always curious to try more, but I would love to hear recommendations, particularly around complexion products. Um, concealer, foundation, that kind of thing. Which ones have you tried? Which ones have you enjoyed? I'd love to hear from you down below. But with that, I'm going to wrap this video up. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch and I will see you in my next one. Until then, just be a decent human being. Bye for now.